Today, I'll be sharing the best process for dual booting our Steam Decks with SteamOS and Windows. And by the end of this video, we'll be able to easily switch between both operating systems, thanks to a user-friendly program that enables us to customize our background and icons, making our Steam Decks truly our own. I'll be taking us all step by step through the process of dual booting our Steam Deck so we can enjoy our traditional SteamOS experience and when we want to, enjoy popular games that require anti-cheat like Call of Duty, Fortnite and Destiny 2 on our Windows installation. All we need to achieve this are two USB sticks or two micro SD cards, minimum 8GB in size, an external USB-C hub a USB keyboard and we will need access to a Windows PC or laptop to write the SteamOS and Windows images to the USBs or microSD cards using a free and easy to use program called Rufus where we can simply drag, drop and click start to write these images. And on our Steam Deck an internal drive size minimum of 256 or 512 gigabytes for the best long term results. From gaming mode, we first want to make sure SteamOS is up to date with the latest stable release. We can achieve this by pressing the Steam button, accessing settings, system and checking for updates, applying and installing these completely. Once that is done, from the Steam Deck's home screen, press the Steam button, power and switch to desktop mode. Open system settings from the taskbar, locate the user option and select change password. To bring up the keyboard, press the Steam and X buttons together and type either pass or deck twice for a quicker setup. Select set password and leave unchanged on the prompt. Now close system settings and open the application launcher. Choose system and open a console window. Next, open your web browser and type JLoBoo10 in the address bar. Click on the first result to access the GitHub page and here we'll install a graphical user interface called the Refined GUI to manage and customize our dual boot setup. Copy the line of code from the GitHub page and paste it into the console window, pressing A to begin the installation. This command will create a folder in our Steam Deck's home directory containing all the necessary files and a shortcut on our desktop for our dual boot program which we want to access now. Inside our GUI we'll soon discover just how easy it is to customise our dual boot setup. So let's quickly go over what we can do in here. We can upload a custom background image in PNG format by clicking browse to navigate to our desired image. Within the Steam Deck Refind folder, we'll find a Themes folder containing 7 sample backgrounds, 1280 by 800 in size. For the default boot option, SteamOS is selected by default. If we don't choose an OS when turning on our Steam Deck, it will boot into the OS selected here. For boot options 1 and 2, SteamOS and Windows are already selected for our dual boot. Unless we want to customise them, I recommend leaving them as they are. To change the SteamOS icon, click Browse in the Boot Option 1 icon field. Navigate to the Icons folder and select your desired icon and repeat this for Boot Option 2 with the Windows icon. Boot Options 3 and 4 are available if you want to try triple or quad booting but I have a separate guide available in the description if you wish to explore this further. The timeout field is set to 5 seconds by default. This means if no input is detected during boot, the default option will load. Feel free to increase this timeout as required. Accessing the About icon will let you check for updates for the Refined GUI and provide links to JLoBoo10's GitHub page and this video guide. Now that we've quickly covered the program, let's select Install Refined from the bottom menu and enter our password when prompted. After a brief progress bar, we won't need to select this option again. After making any changes to the fields above, we must always press Create Config 
followed by install config and enter our password each time. We'll see a confirmation message once all of our changes are successful and we can restart our Steam Deck to see our custom boot screen which currently only boots SteamOS but our Windows image will soon follow. Next we'll be resizing our SteamOS partition which we'll be achieving with the Steam Deck powered off. We must insert our SteamOS recovery micro SD card or USB and USB-C adapter to perform the partitioning process on our Steam Deck. This is due to our drive being locked by SteamOS if we try to do this from desktop mode. Hold the volume down button while pressing the power button to access the boot menu. Select our USB or SD card and wait for the SteamOS recovery image to load. Once we're on the recovery desktop, open the application launcher in the bottom left. Choose Utilities and open KDE Partition Manager. Here, access your internal drive listed on the left side to view your partition table. Scroll to find ext4 home where SteamOS is installed to split the partition for Windows. Right click the ext4 home partition and select Resize Move. Use this slider to adjust the partition size according to your needs after considering the amount of space you want allocated for Windows and for games alongside the remaining amount for SteamOS. Here I am using a 2TB internal drive where I allocated 520GB to Windows and 1.2TB to SteamOS. If you're using a 1TB drive I recommend allocating 400GB to Windows and 550GB to SteamOS. For a 512GB drive I recommend allocating 200GB to Windows and 260 to 280 gigabytes to SteamOS. And for a 256 gigabyte drive, I recommend allocating 150 gigabytes to Windows and 90 gigabytes to SteamOS. After deciding on our size, click OK, and we should see an unknown partition appear below ext4 home. Right click this partition and select New, then choose NTFS as the file system and click OK. Press apply in the top left corner to execute the pending operations. Once completed, we'll see our SteamOS partition reduced and our new NTFS partition created for Windows. Now shut down the Steam Deck, remove the SteamOS recovery media and insert our Windows 11 USB. To install Windows 11, hold the volume down button while pressing the power button to access the boot menu and choose your Windows USB. The Windows setup will take about a minute to load, so rotate our deck portrait for the next installation steps. Once on the Windows setup screen, choose Install Windows and accept the license agreement. If prompted for a product key, select I don't have a product key to proceed with the installation. We want to choose Windows 11 Pro and select Next. Accept the terms and choose Next followed by choosing Install Windows Only. We'll arrive at the partition list, where we can scroll down to find the NTFS partition we created earlier. Select it and press Next. The Windows installation will take about three to four minutes before restarting your Steam Deck to finish the installation. After restarting, due to a recent change in the Windows installer, when we reach the Wi-Fi connection prompt, we may not be able to proceed. So, to fix this, with our USB keyboard connected, press Shift and F10 to make our command prompt appear and type in capitals OOBE backslash bypass NRO and press Enter to restart our Windows installer, allowing us to choose I don't have internet and bypass the internet requirement on the next load. After restarting, we'll need to choose our region, keyboard layout, and enter our username. I recommend choosing no for most of the options that follow, and once all stages are complete, we can wait for Windows to finish its installation. Once we're on our Windows desktop in portrait mode, right click to access display settings. Scroll down to orientation, selecting landscape to adjust our view. 
On our Windows PC or laptop, it is recommended to download all the required drivers if you're on a Steam Deck LCD or Steam Deck OLED and extracting them into a folder which we can then copy to our Windows USB. The link to download all of these is listed in the description. And if we're using a Steam Deck OLED, we need to download all seven drivers. And if we're using a Steam Deck LCD, all six drivers, which all have directions for which file to install on Valve's website. When we have our drivers ready on the USB, plug it into the USB-C adapter and start with the APU folder for our GPU driver. Double click setup and follow the prompts to install. When prompted halfway through, select install again to complete the setup. After the APU driver, install the SD card driver and run setup.exe choosing restart later. Next, install the Bluetooth driver from the RT Blue folder by double clicking install driver.cmd if you're on a Steam Deck LCD. If you're on a Steam Deck OLED, inside our folders, amongst the files, find the setup information file called GCBTUART with a cog symbol and right click and install. Next, for our Wi Fi driver, on Steam Deck LCD, we want to access the Wi Fi folder and run either the install bat file or setup.exe file. For Steam Deck OLED, we want to make sure inside our Wi Fi folder we access either the Win 10 or Win 11 folder and finding the file called GCWLAN64, right clicking and selecting Install. Finally, for our audio on Steam Deck LCD, navigate to the CS35L41 and NAU88L21 folders to install the sound drivers by right clicking the COG symbols and selecting Install. And on Steam Deck OLED, we need to choose the same files, but we have an extra file called AMDI2S codec that we need to install as well. Once all of our drivers are installed, navigate to the description of this video to install an important batch file called Dual Boot Fix. This file creates a scheduled task that prioritizes the boot screen in the EFI list whenever we restart Windows and is required. Right click the setup Refind Windows file and select Run as Administrator to quickly complete this task. And finally, before we shut down the Steam Deck, to prevent graphical glitching when we load into Windows, right click on Start and choose Run, typing msconfig into the box, followed by Enter. Here we want to select the Boot tab and check No GUI Boot from the bottom, pressing Apply and OK. Once you're happy with the Windows side, shut down the Steam Deck and let's go back to SteamOS by accessing it manually by holding volume up and pressing power once. Choose boot from file, ESP, EFI, SteamOS, SteamCL.EFI and once we're back in gaming mode, return to desktop mode. Access the Refined GUI Dual Boot program from our desktop and choose Create Config and Install Config, entering our password afterwards. Once this is done, Restart the Steam Deck to be taken to our dual boot screen exactly as we want, where we can now successfully choose between SteamOS or Windows with our own background and icons. So now that you're done, please check the description for information on support, more videos such as setting up the controller in Windows, troubleshooting and how to dual boot your Asus ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go. Also, please check out the Refined GUI GitHub page for further reading and understanding if you wish to reverse any of the procedures performed today. Before we finish, I want to give a huge shout out to JLoBu10 for writing the original Refined Dual Boot script back in 2022 and since then creating the Refined GUI which incorporated my feedback during development from testing and led to many iterations. Also, a big thank you to Bold Sea Lion for the dual boot batch file that keeps our boot screen at the top of the EFI list. 
and I want to give a big thank you to everyone subscribed to the channel and continues to support me each and every day. I am immensely grateful for all of you and this motivates me to continue showcasing games and creating guides for handhelds for you all. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment below and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, take care of one another and I'll see you later.